hey guys, really quick, I just, uh, I'm about to jump on a call with a seller and I figured I'd give you guys a little insight into how to actually take a live lead intake. So um, I'm gonna jump right on here now. I'm gonna run into my back room, the war room, and show you guys there's not really all that much to it, okay? Enjoy, I'll catch up with you in a few. Hello. Hi, Stan. Yeah, hi. Stan, this is Joe Barletta with Self-Fast Home Buyers. How's it going? Uh, I'm good. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Hey, I'm just returning your call. You had left me a message about, uh, I guess it was your sister's property in Naugatuck? Yeah, that's correct, right. Okay, great. So, um, are you, she's interested in selling the property right now? <laughs> yeah, no, she is, yeah. She, uh, <clears throat> gets very quickly. She's, uh, she's older. She's 71. Okay. Um, her husband died about seven years ago, left her with the property. Um, uh, wasn't maintained very well, I'll be honest about that, okay? So she was kind of left with it, stuck with it. She doesn't really have the money to, you know, fix it up the way she'd like or anything like that. And she's saddled with a mortgage and a home equity loan, which basically takes up her entire Social Security. Gotcha. So uh, she just wants to get out of there. Okay, great. Well, um, I'm, I'm glad you reached out to us. How did you come across our information, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, well, I mean, basically, I just did an online search. I looked for, uh, you know, home buyers in Connecticut. I and got then I went through. And then, like, you know, there was a list of about 15. I went through uh, a couple that, you know, I might be interested in calling. And, uh, you know, like, you're you're in the right area. I mean, I'm not going to bother calling anybody in Glastonbury because you're not going to want to look at a home in August as far as I'm concerned, you know. Right, you know. right, right. Absolutely. I mean, Glastonbury, Glastonbury, you know, Avon, I mean, you know, they're not interested in an August at home. It's, you know, so, yeah, excellent. Okay, so you, you know a little bit about us. You know what we do? Uh, I just uh, actually like what interested me because you basically have yourself listed as developers. Okay. okay? Yep. Uh, and, and, you know, I thought that would probably be, you know, given the condition of the house, you know, like the home, it does need a lot of maintenance. It needs a lot of repair. Okay. That uh, you guys would probably be more likely to be interested in something like that rather than a, you know, a quick flip turnaround. Okay. Right. I mean, right. obviously everybody, everybody wants a quick flip turnaround if they can, but you know, a developer seems to me to be someone to be more, more likely to take an interest in, in, in doing the repairs and, you know, and, and turning around and selling it. So. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, um, it, I don't know if you've been on our website at all, but just to give you a little bit of background, um, about myself and, the, uh, our company, just so you have a, a little bit, uh, a better level of assurance on, uh, what it is that we do. Um, I am a licensed broker stand, but I don't charge any commissions okay. or fees or anything like that. So, um, right. if we do come to an agreement, you wouldn't have to pay any commissions. You, she would save a lot of money like that on that end. Um, we are able to all pay right. all cash. We can close very quickly. Um, or whatever her timeline is. I mean, I, I know she probably needs a place to, to, to move to and uh, relocate. Is that correct? Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She was probably about, you know, uh, probably about a month, maximum like a month and a half. That would be it. You know, I mean, you know, she should be able to find a place in that time. So. Okay. Is she looking and, to, yeah. is she looking to stay, sorry, she, is she looking to stay local? Because we, we can help her uh, as far as I work with a great team of agents as far as relocation specialists as well. She's kind of undecided. She may be looking to go to Pennsylvania. Uh, okay. My other my other brother's out there, and uh, he wants her to come out and you know and and stay out there. So she may decide to do that. So I'm not sure like what she's going to do. So, but yeah, I mean like that's good to know. I mean, okay. if she decides to stay in Connecticut. You know, it'd be good to know that uh, someone can help her out with that. Okay. Yeah, and and also, um, I, I I don't know. Like sometimes, as far as moving goes, you know we. Well, she can leave whatever she wants. She can take whatever she wants. We do buy 100% as is. I know a lot of times uh, when people are downsizing or moving like that, uh, the whole like worrying about getting like a dumpster and doing clean outs and having to do tag sales, all that stuff. Um, it's 100% right. okay. We'll 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 take take whatever is left behind. Usually we we end up donating a lot of stuff. Uh, Salvation Army or Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and then. If we're going to be doing the rehab anyways, we'll have dumpsters there. So no worries on that end. So if that makes it e any easier oh. for her. Okay, great. That's fantastic. Yeah, okay. that's good. Um, Stan, why don't you um, – let me get just a little bit more information about the property. And if it sounds like something that we'd be interested in, I could come out and take a look, either meet you or your sister out there maybe sometime next week. Would that work? Yeah, that'd be fine, yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. what, what is, um, what, what's the address again?
in Mountain. Right. Uh, and when you do, uh, it's got to be spelled out Mountain. If yeah. you do a search with M- with MT, it won't come up with anything. Okay. okay. So. I if um uh, so is how is the the lot there? Is it one? Is it one of those? Is it built into like the mountain over there? I, I vaguely I had a property out there a long time ago, and I remember it was kind of in that area. Um, h- how is the, the the lot situated? Okay, the lot is set uh, slightly lower, maybe about ten feet lower than street level. Okay. okay. Yep. All right, all right. So it's down there. It's about it's about just under an acre and a quarter. Okay. All right. Uh, and the there's a slight slope to the house. Then it's kind of leveled, and it slopes off into the wooded area. There's a little brook back there, and then it fades off into the woods. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, there's a, a property on either side, but it's very private. There's like trees and bushes in between everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the in the back, there's woods. Uh, there's a house way back there, uh, that is actually, uh, the guy has a, a, uh, what, what's the right word, horse stabling business, and, you know, he's a, what's the right word, like a horse boarding, boarding you know, like whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, like Stable. a horse, a horse boarding business back there, okay? Okay. Uh, so you hear horses once in a while beyond that, and there's a house across the street, and then beyond that, it's all not like state forest. Okay. So. Yep. It's right, very so private, you know, yeah. Sounds nice. Um, does, right. uh, can, can you tell me a little bit about the house itself, the, the, the property itself? Yeah. Yeah, it's a split-level ranch. Okay. Yep. Um, three three bedrooms. Um, a, a bath with a shower. I should, that's basically a bathroom with a shower off the master bedroom. Okay. Uh, a, main, a main bath. Uh, dining room, living room, kitchen, and a family room downstairs in half the basement. The other half is the garage, which is under the bedrooms. Okay. Two car garage under the bedrooms. Okay, How there's about- a deck. Uh, there's a deck and a patio underneath the deck. Um, most of the lot is clear, as I said, it slopes down to like there's a brook that runs through there. And, um, How about and then there's like a wooded area. Uh, her husband had built a Actually built a shack. Okay, it's 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 a it's a, in very good condition wooden structure. It's not one of these tin jobs out there. So like it's a tool shed shack, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Um. All right. Um. And that's pretty much it. You know. Um, can you give me a little, repairs? It. Can you give me a little yeah, insight it, into the uh? What about heat? What does it got for heat? Oh, uh, it's oil heat. Okay. The furnace heat. Hot air. Hot uh, air furnace. The, uh, the hot water. Hot water. Okay, so it's a boiler system. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, uh, so it's it's the uh, it's the furnace is six years old. So it's a fairly new furnace. It's yet, it's an energy efficient thing, as well as the hot water heater. Okay. Uh, which is very, which is very large, <laughs> and um, uh, that was converted. It used to be uh the hot water heater off the furnace kind of thing, but uh, her husband had done something with uh, a wood-burning stove connecting that to the heating room. Like, whatever he did, okay, which has been reversed now, but at that time he had to get a hot water heater because he couldn't heat hot water from the wood-burning stove, whatever. Okay, so anyway, like, it's, it's, it's a large tank hot water system, which is, uh, again, about six years old. Okay. So what does it need okay. as far as um, if you said it needs updating and, and repairs, in, in your opinion, what, what needs to be, what are the biggest, big, big ticket items? Okay. Um, the bathrooms upstairs, the master bedroom and the other one, like the main bathroom, and they're basically, they got to be redone, okay? Uh, and there's plumbing issues with them, okay? Um there's some uh, plumbing Activate. issues. They got some pipe. They got some piping running through, uh, running through the garage out to like an outdoor tap. Okay, but that piping runs through an unheated garage. Okay, so okay. there's a problem with that. Okay. Um, Freezing. The roof has to be yeah, like the roof has to be looked at, possibly repaired. I don't know what the uh, uh, there's probably some shingles missing up there, okay? I don't believe there's any water damage. As far as I know, I've been up in her attic, and I don't, I haven't seen any water damage or anything. So I, it's probably just the, 
you know, either fix it or replace, you know, like the roof shingles. Um, okay. The, uh, the uh, let's see, um, there is an issue with moisture in the family room. Okay. And I'll, 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 be honest, I'll be honest about that. Okay. Uh, my brother that. and I took a look at it because we had to do the same kind of thing with my father's place, okay? And it looks like it's going to need, uh, at least on that portion of the house where the family room is, uh, it's going to need probably some kind of, Ditch dug with, you know, like a, some kind of drainage system outside, and probably it'd be a good idea to, uh, you know, like to coat the, uh, like the foundation, foundation itself. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you think because yeah. of the the way the layout of the lot, it's pitching back towards that that wall. Right. It's, okay, gotcha. Well, yeah, like yeah, that's really the rock strata. There's a rock in like the like. I mean, it looks nice. I mean, as far as aesthetics go, there's a nice rock out there and everything like out in the front yard. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but. And, you yeah, know, I no. believe like when you get, I, I believe when you get heavy rains, it's like the rock helps water go down to the, uh, you know, like that level of the basement kind of thing. Got so, it. Now, is it a, is it a full basement, yeah. Stan? Uh, as I said, it's like yeah, yeah, it's a full basement as far as like the foundation goes. Half of it's a garage. Yeah, and it's split okay. level, right? I got gotcha. you. Right. Okay. And there's a bathroom downstairs. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, it's a bathroom. There's no shower or anything downstairs. It's used as a mudroom right now. It's got a washer, dryer, <laughs> and, you know, a toilet and a sink and everything, okay? okay. Uh, that's not in bad shape, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, people probably want fixtures, updates, and stuff, but that's really not in bad shape. Mm -hmm. um, there's, like, a utility closet downstairs. Uh, there is a, um, if you're familiar with the area at all, it's, it's very hard water, okay? Yeah. So, uh, is it well everybody, up well has, what, well everybody, everybody up there has a filtration system on there, uh, you know, so she swaps out a filter every month and that's the end of it, you know, okay. it's not a problem. She, the water's been tested for chemicals and, uh, not recently, like when they bought it, it was tested for chemicals and, uh, you know, contamination and there's none of that, okay. Um, Septics or, uh, is it septic system there or is it town sewer? Yes. Yeah, it's septic and well. There's no sewers that run up there. But uh, she, she's been there since 1986, I believe, 87. Okay. okay. And they've never had a problem with the septic system at all. Okay. They've never had a pump it or anything. All right. Um, you know, but people who have septic systems have to be reasonable. There's things you just can't flush down the septic system. And, you know, right. We're, you know, right. Yeah. Uh, and it's a well. Um, the pressure's fine, you know. Okay. Um, as I said, uh, everybody up there has a filtration system, and that's really just for the coloration, because, you know, it's uh, unfiltered, has a tendency to get, like, a little bit rust colored beyond yeah. that. Like, with a filter, it's fine, it's perfectly clear. And yeah, fine. my it's, parents are in Bethany, they, they, not too far from there, so yeah. I, I'm familiar. Yeah, um, I yeah. Understand. and it's, you know, and it's drinkable, okay? Yep. I mean, you know... I mean, she. I mean, she uses bottled water for drinking, but she uses that for cooking and everything else. So it's, you know, it's fine. Okay, great. All right, this definitely helps me out, Stan. Um, let me ask you: uh, Do you know um, what what she's looking to get for the property? Not really. Uh, she didn't throw a number. She doesn't have a lot of expectations. Well, she doesn't have a lot of expectations. Okay. Yeah. You know, um, she understands the age of the property. She understands the condition of the property. Um, she has a Mortgage uh, and a home equity loan, okay? okay. Um, uh, neither of them, I mean, monthly payment-wise, it's hurting her, but, you know, as far as, like, the balances, they're they're not extreme. I mean, we're talking, like, $40,000, $45,000, um, you know, on both, okay? Not, not total, each, okay? Yeah. Right, total. Uh, she's got some credit card debt, which she'd like to get rid of, and, you know, beyond that, it's, it's, you know, like it's all gravy. You okay, know? So, so no, no yeah. back taxes, no liens, nothing like that. Anything like that is the credit card debt. No, no, no. Like yeah, like uh, the mortgage payment takes care of the taxes. They go into escrow, and um, okay. you know, so, so as a matter of fact, it was just like it gets paid twice a year, January and January and July. July so they just actually made a tax payment now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she she owes somewhere in the ballpark of like eighty ninety k somewhere around there with the with, with the HELOC and the mortgage. Uh yeah, probably less than that as far as owing, but that's probably you know that's eighty is probably like a good ballpark figure for okay you know what she like what she'd be expecting or hoping for. Okay, so that's what she's looking for, just to pay off the mortgage and just move on right now. 
Yeah, maybe, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand 20000 in their pocket if you can, you know. I mean, you know, everybody wants that, right? I mean, sure. if you can, you know. Is she going right? to be looking to um, buy, rent? Is she going to live in with a, a family member as far as that goes? Well, it depends where she goes, okay? If okay. she goes to Pennsylvania, she'll be living with a family member. If, uh, uh, if she stays in Connecticut, she'll be looking to rent, okay? okay. She doesn't want, doesn't want the responsibility of homeownership anymore. Okay? Understandable. Sure, yeah. I get it. Okay, great, Stan. Um, I greatly appreciate you uh, giving me this info. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this along to my uh, my acquisitions guy, uh, do a little bit of homework on our end before we run some numbers here. Um, are you local? Are you in the area? No, I'm actually in Arizona. Okay? Oh, okay. I was there. I actually I stayed at that property for a couple of years before I moved out to Arizona. Okay? I got you. What, what part so, of Arizona so, are you so yeah, I know it very well. Okay, so where are you at in uh, Arizona? You know that. Uh, I'm actually in Mesa, just east of Phoenix. What's well, about 125 out there right now? <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it. No, it's uh, it's actually 107 today, but the dew points up around 65. So you know what that feels like, yeah. right? Yeah, um, like you show the dew point on top of it. Yeah, people say it's yeah. dry out here. It's in the summertime, it's not dry out here. It's very humid. Yeah, right? yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man! All right, listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you another number. Okay. Okay. Yep. Good. And and that's her number. So uh, I'll let her know that. Uh, it's that well. I mean, if you can let me know if you want to call her, that way I can let her know like to expect a call because. Uh, She's older. She doesn't answer calls that she doesn't know. So right, she's yeah. a number she doesn't know. And she just says, get lost. Okay? Right. No, I, uh, I so, so if you're going to call, I'll, I'll let her know that you're going to call. Okay. And But her, her, her number is... I guess correct, right. Okay. And uh, as I said, she's older. She's like 71. Yep. Uh, she, still, she still has to work because I said the so, her Social Security that was, you know, left to her from her husband. Okay. Okay, it's basically is eaten up by the mortgage and the home equity, and that's really the problem. So, right. Right. Um, so she, she, she's 71, doesn't want to work anymore, but has to because of, you know, obviously the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, so she does work. So uh, if you reach out to her, it's, you know, call about any time from 6.30 to 8.30 in the evening, and yes, she'll be available. Okay. Otherwise, she might be on the road shopping or something, or she'll be at work or whatever. Okay, what I'll do, Stan, is, um, like I said, I'll, I'll have my guy run some numbers on this, take a look at the values for the area, see what we can do, where we would probably be in a ballpark for an offer. Mm -hmm. um, I'll touch base back with you at the beginning of next week, and um, if it right. looks good, then, uh, you know, after we talk, touch base, uh, you can give her a heads up, and then we'll go from there. Okay, great. Sound good? Okay, well, thank you for calling back. Awesome. Thanks, Stan. You have a great weekend. I will talk to you next week either uh, way, okay? Okay, great. Thank you very much. All right. Have a great weekend. Talk right, soon. Bye-bye. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So there you have it, right? Not a big deal. And as you can see, using the lead sheet, important to remember one thing. I... Never had any prior conversation with this guy. He left us a message. I just called him back. So you can see like having this lead sheet in front of me allows me to get all that information from him that I need. Granted, it is a lot of chicken scratch, but I know what it is. I got all the information that I needed from him. Now I could pass this on to my acquisitions guy. We could discuss what the values are based on how much work it needs. I actually, I'm familiar with the area that this house is in. Um, it is on basically a mountain and um, you know there's a lot of well and septic issues in this area uh, most of the houses are built either way up on a hill or way down like this guy said it's kind of on a, a downward slope which is causes issues with water so I'm not sure if this is gonna be a deal yet we do <clears throat> excuse me we do know that there is a good level of motivation there on on the part of the the owner you know she she's older she wants to downsize she's still working at 71 years old at a job just to pay for her bills so there's a couple different exit strategies that we may test out here and see what sticks but either way I wanted to get this video over to you guys and just show you there's not a whole lot to actually taking a lead when you have a good seller lead sheet and uh, I hope this training was very helpful for you guys Thanks for checking it out, and I'll talk to you soon.